every hero has an origin story, right? Not that I think of myself as a hero. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but I, I guess if we're going to try to make sense of <laughs> all of this, my origins are maybe important. Maybe. <laughs> I kissed my first boy when I was three years old. <laughs> I actually remember this. I remember his blonde hair and the street we lived on. I remember his name was Greg. And as our mothers watched us from the porch, I kissed him. I don't know why I kissed him. It's not like I knew what kissing was or its romantic implications. I just wanted to, so I did. And then later, as I got older and I learned what love is, all I wanted to do was grow up and get married. <laughs> You are the most beautiful girl in the whole world. I can't wait to get married and move into our mansion in New York City and have kids. And I'll be a doctor and you'll be a Broadway actress and life will be wonderful. I love you. I'm going to be the best wife. I'm going to make you happy. I will devote my entire life to you and I'll be so happy. I want to tell her it doesn't turn out that way. Hold on, little one. And then I hit puberty and ugh, my mom starts teaching me the rules of womanhood. Wear makeup so boys will like you. Pluck your eyebrows so boys will like you. Bleach your mustache so boys will like you. Don't be too smart, boys don't like that. And whatever you do, don't be one of those man-hating, bra-burning feminists. <sighs> I can't wait to kiss more boys. I can't wait to have a boyfriend. I'm in the sixth grade when I meet John. He is a foot shorter than me and I love him.
He is my first boyfriend. We like all the same music and movies. And now I have to move away. We go on one last date to the movies to see Austin Powers. And we're sitting in the driveway in the back of his mom's SUV. And neither one of us wants to say goodbye. And then we kiss. <laughs> we kiss and I feel my heart breaking because I don't want to leave him behind. Before I get out of the car, I give him this poem that I have written him. Okay, so the poem is long, so I will give you a highlight. <clears throat> my dearest John, I hope you know how my love for you grows and grows. You are the only boy I'll ever love. Goodbye, my darling. Goodbye, my love. Will I ever find love again? Love is a funny thing, there's not much I can do. Despite the lack of signals, I still have feelings for you. Why is it never me? I just can't seem to win. I'd stab my heart out with a safety pin just to be with you again. Joe walks into my life in the eighth grade. He's tall and lanky with mild acne and glasses, and I am completely obsessed with him. He's perfect. He runs track, and he's in the gifted program and listens to classic rock. I pine for him desperately. And the worst part of it, the most devastating part, is that he told me he doesn't like me like that. We're friends, and that's it. And then, at my 15th birthday party, we kiss. All my dreams come true. Finally, it's happening. Nothing's happening, because I've just found out that he had a girlfriend the whole time. My binder gets thicker and thicker. I will never love again. Love is a funny thing. Never me, I just can't seem to win. I'd stab my heart out with a safety pin. Just to be with you, I'd stab my heart out with a safety pin. Just to be with you again. Wow, puberty really was a bitch.